No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and I'm in here today with Memphis's very own. Yeah, Jay Fizzle. Jay Fizzle in this bitch. <laughs> what you talking about? How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. You hear me? No, I've been trying to get at you for a minute. I've been trying to get you on here <laughs> for a couple of years now, so we finally made it happen. But are you are you not back and forth to LA a lot? Yeah, now and then. Yeah, now and then. You know, I'll be moving around. Right. Definitely. What brings you out here this time? You got anything else planned? Man, you know, I pull up in the projects. You know, I like coming out here going to and down a lot. So I have really? friends in the projects. I'm going to go and I have it them. And then, you know, you. Who you tap in with on Great My Street? My boy Lil Rock, Greedo, Greedo. Lil Boy. Really everybody around there. <laughs> even at his own, Great Street. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you grew up in like that kind of neighborhood because like people in LA are always kind of fascinated how dudes in Memphis will have affiliations with LA I ain't gonna lie we look at we look at LA like that we look at LA well, we like we started that. it not me but somebody out here started it <laughs> for sure for sure but right now Memphis like LA right now Memphis like doing that right now everybody around that great street really for sure for sure that it's just taking over the city yeah it's just taking over it wasn't like that back in the day though but right now everybody around that great street really so what's your understanding of that why you think it's like that what happened? Yeah, we the way right now. We the most. <laughs> <laughs> we the most right now. Really? Interesting. All right, so tell me a little bit about where you grew up and what your childhood was like. I grew up in the bottom. You feel me? Like, they were I raised most of my time. Like, I was born, dog. I was born my uh, mama. She stayed in North Memphis. Out Hollywood, behind Red Chris, though. Okay. You feel me? But I was a grandma, baby. You feel me? So I was trying to get with my grandma. I want with that. I was trying to get back to the hood. So, you know, I pulled up out there. You know, I've been out there through. Shit, like gambling, you know. You gambling was your main, your main thing? Yeah, we close to the casino. Oh, that kind of gambling, not yeah. like dice game? All right, dice game, that's where I started. Oh, that's okay. how I started. It started off in the hood, dice game. Then made my way to the casino when I got old enough. Really? For sure, for sure. Are you like... I, I hear a lot of rappers claim that they make a lot of money gambling, which is interesting because in a dice game, <laughs> technically, if we just play dice, it should be like break even in the long run because it's like <laughs> so, it's such a simple game. So you got to throw some finesse on it or be able to manipulate the situation if you want to yeah. actually be a long term money maker. I mean, right? they're part, they part of the game. They're part of life, though. You got to be a finesse in life to do this. Right. I mean, but you know, this everybody, you know, I don't. I don't think you make a lot of money out of gambling. <laughs> no, some people claim that. Though. I've watched full length interviews. Down. Gambling take you down, that gambling not good. Well, yeah. when you go to the casino, for sure you're getting fleeced. Oh, yeah, you can't beat the casino for sure. Right. I used to think you could beat the casino. I used to go every day like there was a job. <laughs> really? So for sure. Like 12 hours. There's a lot of young dudes like you going to the casino, or is it a bunch of grandmas? Nah, a lot. in Memphis, a lot of these men felt like me for sure, for sure. Really? What do you be play? grandmas up there. They be on slot machine. We up there yeah. like we. What do you dice. play? Dice. I just got hip to the blade yet. Okay. Mainly dice. Okay. Yeah. What was life like when you were like real young though? Like what, what kind of environment with your parents and everything? My mama, she was cool. You feel me? Like I had both of my parents. You feel me? She killed me away from my daddy for a minute because they was in some altercation. Mm. Now they was into it, but you know, I made my way to my daddy for sure, for sure. Okay. And uh, other than that, she, you know, I was grown early. I started having kids early, real, real early. How how young was the first the first one? Thirteen, going on fourteen. Jesus, yeah, shot the club up at, at thirteen. I ain't stopped then. No, I know. That's, yeah, we're definitely gonna get to the, <laughs> your, the insane number of uh, yeah, points you've been putting up. I ain't stopped this since then. Right, yeah. but what you? So you're f girls at twelve? That's pretty. That's pretty wild. Yeah, I think it, it's really come my mom and my dad because you feel me. I, I used to steal their fleeks. No, most kids be going to steal money out of their mom. I just go in my mama room and steal all her flicks. Flicks like movies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Your mom had movies? Yeah. Because <laughs> I think normally people catch their, their dad. They find their My daddy too. My mom and my daddy. <laughs> and they both had the same type of shit or they both had their own separate collection? They both had, they were separated. So they had their own collection. Oh, okay. Different houses. Yeah. But fuck? like I said, I started off with my mama, so I used to steal her shit a lot. You feel me? Right. 
And once I seen that, you feel me? It was, oh, I'm trying to go for the real thing. <laughs> you start telling girls in school, I, I, like, I, 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 I got no this mom new, and dad and none of that. I got this new thing we got to try. Yeah, I got this new thing we got to try for the show. 